Hi guys, it's Misty with Queen Bees Vintage. I'm back with another haul video for you today. Um, this is my Happy Fall Y'all haul. Well, that wasn't a very good joke, but anyway, um, let's get started. I have um, items from Walmart, Target, Michaels, and a piece from Marshalls that I'm gonna share with you today. Um, just to give you a little bit of info on how I decorate, I typically decorate for Halloween um, around the last week in August, and then that stays up until the day after Halloween I start taking everything down. So I don't do fall or um, decor early in the season like a lot of people do. Mine is Halloween because we transform um, the house into kind of a haunted mansion. This year we were unable to do that, um, so it's more of a kind of a generic Halloween for us, but we have a cute Halloween tree and some other things that I will do like a mini home tour on hopefully tomorrow. So um, what I do do is the day after Halloween, once I take everything down, I um, do my fall, which is more like my Thanksgiving decor, which usually consists of um, a tablescape. I do a little bit in my kitchen, a little in my coffee bar, and then most of the rest of it is outside, which that stuff is already done and will be part of the Halloween video. So um, what I do is I start slowly decorating for Christmas early um, usually right after Halloween. And I know a lot of people think that that's jumping the gun, but for me, um, we transform our whole house and um, we do our front porch as well as our back covered patio. So we like to get an early start on it so that it's fun and not stressful. Um, and the kids help out and we just, make it a lot of fun. We've established a lot of traditions that way. So um, typically what we do is we start, sorry, my battery thing was coming on. We start um, decorating for Christmas like in the bedrooms, bathrooms. Um, you know, we just don't explode Christmas um, all over before Thanksgiving, but we do put some of our smaller trees up and get um, a jump start. In fact, I've been doing a lot of behind the scenes Christmas prep um, already. So um, that's how it works. And then the day after Thanksgiving, the big trees go up and we get the outside done. So that way we have plenty of uh, time to enjoy it all. So let's get going with the haul. And um, the first is, items are from Walmart. And this is one of my favorite things. This is a little um, cookie jar. And you just lift the top. Um, mine, of course, doesn't have any cookies in it right now because my husband eats them as fast as we put them in there, which is good because then I don't eat them. But um, this is just really darling. And um, this is actually out right now on the counter and it'll stay out until after Thanksgiving. It's almost too cute to put away, but I will put it away. So um, this Walmart 988. And then I picked up some of my favorite um, scent. These are the Better Homes and Gardens um, wax melts. This is called a Thankful Harvest. It smells amazing. My family loves it. Um, anytime I have a guest over, they think it just smells wonderful. So I stocked up and bought three more packs of these. Um, they're only $2 uh, a piece, so it's really a great buy in comparison to what some of the other wax melts out on the market cost. So those are my Walmart fall items. I'm gonna move on to Target. Um, I purchased these darling little, um, they're candles, and they look like they're in almost like a little miniature Starbucks cup. The cup part is glass, and then the top is actually just like um, the lid they would put on a Starbucks cup. And these are called uh, pumpkin caramel cream. They were $3 a piece in the bullseye play yard or playground. And um, 
They smell super good. So I'll be using these in my coffee bar. And then what I wanna do is after the candle burns completely down, I'm gonna clean it thoroughly and um, maybe create a little faux Starbucks sleeve. And I'm gonna put my flavored coffee powders in these. The little opening here will make a great spout to pour. And I've got like a vanilla powder and a chocolate mocha. So I think these will be super cute for that. Um, so multi-purpose, this is something I could keep out all year. If I make the sleeve just right, it'll cover this up. So um, $3 a piece, they smell good, super cute. Um, my next items from the Bullseye Playground are these great fabric covered pumpkins. I got two of these, as you can see, they're a different shape. And then this one has a really great textured covering. And um, these were $3 a piece. Uh, when I do my Thanksgiving tablescape, this year I'm gonna do kind of a long garland centerpiece down, almost like a runner, down the center of the table. And these will be nestled into that. I have a few others that um, I already own that are um, in storage, but uh, I'll also be adding those to the, uh, the centerpiece as well. Spit it out. Um, and then I also got these little guys in the Target spot also. And they're kind of, um, they're super soft. They're almost like an ultra suede uh, fabric. And so I got two cream ones. These were a dollar a piece. And then I got two gray ones. And I will be showing you the kind of the base for this garland coming up when I show you the Michaels haul. So a dollar a piece on these, so really inexpensive to put together a fun centerpiece for fall. I did get a pack of the Ashland um, melts, uh, scent melts. These are cinnamon pecan buns and they do smell really good. I have purchased some of these Michaels melts before and um, I've only been unhappy like one time. For the most part, they um, they melt and burn pretty well and um, smell really good. So these really complement the ones from Walmart that I showed you. Um, I don't know that I'll burn them at the same time, but if I do um, in different areas of the house, at least it's all somewhat cohesive and the scents will complement one another. So these were uh, $3.99 and all of the fall stuff I'm going to show you that I got at Michael's was 70% off. So these were scents. It was great. Sorry about the awful lighting too. It is starting to get dark and my house has lots of windows in it. So it makes for really bad filming, but this is the only time I really have a chance to do this. So I want to get it done. Um, then I got these great LED lights. They're the ones that are just kind of the little nub that's on a wire. And then they have pine cones. Sorry about the glare. Pine cones attached to the wire. So not only are these gonna be really great to use for fall, but I can use them for Christmas as well with the um, pine cones on them. Uh, $14.99, 70% off. And then I got these really cute candles. The scent is called Pumpkin Harvest. They smell really good. Again, complimentary to the melts that I have. As you can see, the jar is um, shaped like a pumpkin and it's got this really cute little metal pumpkin charm hanging off of a little leather cord that's tied in a bow. And these were $7.99, 70% off and I got two of these. So I can either use these in the bathrooms or maybe on my kitchen island. That's probably where I'll use them. So um, I really like those. And this is the base for my tablescape uh, centerpiece. And it was six feet long until someone tore it apart. And um, these were $24.99, 70% uh, off. 
and um, because it was uh, broke, I ended up getting it for $5. So really good score on this. I can actually attach it back together. Um, I actually may take it apart and do it in sections anyway. I think the the very base for um, the garland centerpiece is going to be um, like a pine uh, bendable, flexible garland that you use to decorate at Christmas. And I've got some white chalks not white, kind of a cream colored chalk spray paint. I'm going to spray it with that first so that I can keep everything with that soft look and feel. And then I'll go ahead and add this into it, um, some ribbon that I have, and then of course my pumpkins. I may even do some lights. I haven't quite decided on that yet, but I think I might um, do a tutorial on how I build that. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. And then I got these beautiful cream roses, which I can either use these in an arrangement or take them apart and put them into that garland centerpiece. More than likely, I'll probably do these in an arrangement. And I got these really great cotton stems. And these are a little different than the ones they normally, sorry about the crinkling that they normally put out because these actually have pine cones in them as well. And these were $8.99 and 70% off, so a really good buy on those. I got three of those. And let's see, did I get anything else from Michaels? Oh, I did get some Christmas ribbon. I got this buffalo plaid that actually feels um, like brushed flannel. And then I got this one. This is gonna be for a DIY that I'm going to show you. And this I will probably use um, in my tree. Um, I do a lot of buffalo plaid with my red pickup trucks. So um, this will either get used in the tree or somewhere in my living room. I do mainly buffalo plaid and traditional colors in there. So um, this was a really good buy that day also. Um, it was 50% uh, off, so I got this $10 one. I think actually they were actually both $10, so I got them uh, $5 each, 10 for the set. So that was a good buy. Um, I did forget when I was showing you guys Target that I got these Darling Ceramic Houses. These were also in the bullseye bin. These kind of remind me of like a... Joanna Gaines. Um, in fact, I've seen ceramic white houses um, similar to this um, at other shops and online, and um, they started at 20 and went up, and um, these little guys were $5, and they light up. They come with the battery in it, so it's all set to go. And what I love about these is I can put them out with my fall, I can use them with my Christmas, and my everyday decor is farmhouse style. So I can pretty much use these year round. They had, um, let me turn this one on, oops. They had two different styles, so I got them both. And then, um, like I said, I can use these year round. So I'm excited to, um, start using these in my decor. Nice to put out just to add a little glow here and there. And then I got these super cute boxes of um, chalkboard easels. You get four to a box. They're $3 a box and they look like this. And I thought, how cute would these be for place card holders? Um, I could also use them if I do a hot cocoa bar to label the, the items that are on the hot cocoa bar, like your marshmallows or your candy canes, peppermints, what have you. So um, I ended up with eight total, two boxes, $3 each. And these are just so cute. Like I said, with the fact that I do farmhouse, these are something I could use um, any time of year um, with various place settings that I have. So those will, those will get used more than just at Christmas. And I got another little pickup truck. 
So this guy is green. Look how cute it is. I'm gonna put a Christmas tree and some snow in the back of this. Maybe light the tree with a battery pack. And this was $3. They also have these in black, which I do own one. It's over on the counter. Um, but they look exactly alike other than just a different color. So there was black and green, both $3. So you'll have to get on over there and get yourself one for your, your Christmas and fall decorating. You could put some little tiny miniature pumpkins in the back of this too with some raffia or um, a shredded hay, hay, little hay bale or something. So that is now it for Target um, and Michaels. I did get this really cute little vintage looking sign that says Thanksgiving and it's got the turkeys and the cute red car. Um, so I will put this out with my, my fall. Oh, and this was, um, this is made by Designs by Kathy and it was only $6.99. I don't think you can see in the video, maybe you can, but they're glittered also. So they have a fun little sparkle to them. So, um, I thought that was really cute. And then, um, oh, sorry guys, I wasn't done with Michaels. I forgot I had two signs um, and two other things down here on the floor. So let me show you those really quick. Again, this was Michaels, 70% off. Look at this cow, I love him. You can hang him from this. He's got the um, little sawtooth hangers on the back. I actually, uh, just took him out of um, one of my fall arrangements that's out on my porch. Um, I'm using him out there and he's really cute. So you'll see that in the um, porch tour, mini Halloween tour video that I do. I took the price tag off of him so I can't remember. I wanna say he was between $19.99 and $24.99. I can't remember, but he was 70% off. And again, with my farmhouse, I can use this year round. And then I also got this sign, pumpkin patch, hay rides, caramel apples, and cider. And this one was $29.99, 70% off. So, What's that, like $9 for this cute uh, wooden sign? And I think that's it. I just have one more thing I wanna share with you. This is an item that I've had. I got this wonderful truck at um, Hobby Lobby. It was part of their summertime collection and um, it was $50 when I got it, it was 80% off. So I scored this cute truck for $10. And um, the don't. this is not how I'm keeping this arranged. I just threw these in here because I am going to do something with all of this in the back of this little truck. So maybe I'll do a short little video on it. Um, I've seen a couple, a couple other gals um, do their trucks like this. And I'm sorry, I can't, if I misquote, I don't remember um, all of their names. I think one of them is Danielle's Decor. Um, she's the one I got this cute idea from because look, this is what it looked like as the summer truck. It has the barbecue pig on the side. And she had gone to her Dollar Tree and these are magnets and it came with a set. I think there's like six in there, but these are the ones I liked. And so the pig is on both of the doors, but these, um, these little magnets just pop perfectly right over, right over the pig so it becomes a fall truck. 
I'm really hoping they have some Christmas ones at the Dollar Tree because I do plan on using this for Christmas as well. Um, thank you, Danielle, uh, for your great idea. Um, I know she also made some magnets for her truck. So if all else fails and I can't find Christmas magnets I like, I can make some um, some of my own. So yeah, I am going to be doing an arrangement in the back of the truck. I know I want to say it was Danielle. And again, I'm so sorry if I'm misquoting. Um, I'm fairly new to all of this. Um, I want to say she used some small pumpkins and some of these little hay bales from the Dollar Tree in hers as well. And then I got these little, these small pumpkins, they actually have a clip on them, um, at the Dollar Tree. So, um, fun way to dress up these little trucks and use them, um, you know, if not year round, multiple seasons. So, um, I just wanted to share that with you. And again, to thank Danielle from Danielle's, um, decor. She's got some really fun um, decorating videos and hauls, so you'll have to check her out. And that is going to do it for me today. I am going to sign off. Um, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, if you hit the little bell, you'll get notifications of when my new videos post. And I will look forward to seeing you soon with a um, Halloween home tour. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great night.